So I'm just going to guinea pig myself. But I'm an engineer. So I have this, 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 and this. What can I do? Hey, these are the things that work. These are the things that don't work. You know, you're getting it from a reliable source. That now changes the whole game and the outlook on how people react to me. Because now they go, well, here's Will. He did it. They don't have to. They don't have to question. Do I know what I'm talking about? Because I'm, I'm not. I'm not looking to lose. So I'm going to give you the advice that I'm using to win. If we learn something new together, cool. Let's implement it. Yeah, I don't got to hold on to it. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't. I don't have to get knowledge, take it, and just hold on to it and keep it for myself. Right. Right. You know. You spread the love. Of, of course, because it, it just makes yeah. it makes for number one a better experience. Number two, it just makes for the. It, it keeps the journey moving in a forward direction because no matter if someone falls off or not it's okay because there's just a whole wave of people trying to do the same thing at the same time and keeping the energy moving keeping the positivity flowing making sure like hey such and such hasn't been doing too well let's go check on them hey when's the last time you put out a record hey you should come to the studio hey we're having a get together don't worry no one's charging for anything let's just sit down and talk let's brainstorm about some marketing let's talk about some kind of promotion you know, we got a manager over here from such and such, and he's looking for this and this for his artists. You know, you should go call him up, you know, make him make him make a couple dollars. Go go check this out. You know, those kind of things that when I was going to other studios and when I was coming up in the bigger studios, these are the things that I watched. I watched staff do it. I watched owners do it. You know, they they kept it the, the environment great and friendly and family oriented because they realized that this is an environment for artistic creation. You know, there has to be a vibe that permeates the whole building before the building can move forward. You know, right. It's like almost like making a scene within within your studio or around Mm -hmm. your studio, you know. Yep. that's really cool. Yeah. And also like when you do when you when you put out like when you're very giving of the knowledge that you have, it just it only comes back. You know, it, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think it. I don't think it's like the kind of thing where you give away. You're giving away the, you know, you're giving away the farm, and then like you're not going to make any money, or you know, it's usually oh, no, it's, it's only it's only even it's only helpful almost always. Yep, that's true. It's the truth, man. Like, I've been trying to tell my like you know my clients of mine, artists, like start recording yourself. Like let's let's learn how you could do this stuff yourself, and I can help you with mixing, or I can help you with editing, and like figure out like you know what the missing puzzle pieces are because there's always a way to exactly. collaborate down the road, yep. even if. Uh, and I'm I'm actually all about this right now. It's like telling artists to like figure out a way to get like their own home studio set up because it's going to help mm-hmm. you somehow. Doesn't mean you need to do all the production. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't mean you need to do everything. But having that ability to record yourself and to do some things by yourself is going to help you down the road. And sure enough, it's going to come back to me down the road also. Oh yeah, all the time. And, and that's the thing. As engineers, I think. I don't think a lot of artists give their engineers the credit they deserve in the public eye, like behind the scenes and on this side of the fence all the time. Yes. All the time. But in the public eye, the public doesn't understand the bridges that we help build. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes all day, all the time, because there's always someone asking for a phone number. There's always someone asking for advice or someone saying, well, hey, when you were with such and such, what did they do on this? Or what's the effect on this that you might have used and stuff like that? And these are the we keep we're like the glue that keeps things kind of like moving. (laughs) Yeah, in, in this, the lubrication. You know what I mean? Like in, in this whole sea of creativity, <laughs> yeah. we're the ones that's like, well, you know, you could just try this, and yeah, you know, let, let's give it, let's let's do this because why not? And like, you know, we're, 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 they bounce the ideas off of us when there's no one else around. When someone's going through some kind of crisis in their life, you know, we play the role of psychologists. Yeah, you know, when when someone's doing amazing, we celebrate with them. You know, when they're when they're feeling down, we try to help them, help motivate. You know, there are all these different roles that the engineer yeah. plays that as an artist, me, myself, I would have never, ever, ever probably been a part of unless I knew someone personally, you know. But right. that's the cool that's the cool thing about our job. <laughs> yeah, it's a very emotional, emotionally invested job. Like you really need to yeah. understand people. I always tell people like, oh, yeah, I majored in psychology, but like I don't use it, but I kind of use it because <laughs> I mean, I don't think about the degree when I'm talking with people or someone's oh, like yeah. recording vocals, you know what I mean? But like, there's so much psychology involved in all of that, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I, and I think that's the thing that, you know, they, they, they do teach that. But then it's like when you start becoming a working engineer, you start to realize the 
The psychology that has to be implemented is not just a textbook thing. When it comes to you and the artist, you have to have a certain bond that has to be there in order for someone to open up. And the thing about creating music is, depending on the song, that person will be very vulnerable. So you have to be there for that person, whatever, wherever that, that road of vulnerability might lead. So if you have someone singing a sad song about loss, sometimes you as the engineer, you have to be able to push and maneuver this person to still give a performance while making sure that they don't lose themselves in the emotional content that they're that they're performing right now at this time. You know, mm. and things like that. Ha- yeah, that, that, things like that happen. You know, it's 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 where it's where you get those great records and you're just like, man, this sounds amazing. You know, because I'm pretty sure it's a real thing, you know, and it and it touches somebody. And, and in, in, re- in return, you we all feel it. You know, like, like you said, it's, it's an emotional medium. Music is an emotional medium. So when you can feel something without talking to someone physically or seeing them is when, you know, you have this incredible record, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I had, I had a guest recently on the show named Mike Pepe uh, out of California. And he's like, I want I want people to like hear the record and know that the band was having a good time while they were performing. it. Like, mm-hmm. Can you hear that? Like, can you hear the emotion in the, in the, in the record? And, and I, I really, I really think that that's like a good, like that's, that's a true thing. It's a thing Like you can really mm-hmm. hear what was going, what was going on behind the glass or whatever. Oh yeah, no, I 100% agree. I 100% agree. I I like I said I think that's what makes great records is when we can emotionally attach ourselves to the music and and lose and lose ourselves for that little bit of time and whatever yeah. and whatever it is we're hearing and then it's just it's, it becomes a vibe. It becomes yeah. this moment and and anything Those are happen. my favorite records. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The full album that you could like put on and, and oh yeah, and really, man, like, with the big head with. with the big headphones. You don't care what they are. You just kind of yeah. you just kind of lay there, chill, relax, and the whole day is just a beautiful day outside, and the whole mood is just ah, this is great. Like those got to do a bit more of the, going outside these days, right? Dude, <laughs> let me tell you, I feel like the world just needs to get out and take a breather sometimes. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. <laughs> well, we're on our second <laughs> lockdown, so oh, man. I mean, we go outside, but uh, we do what we can. You uh, know, the backyard is my savior right now. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm in an apartment building, but oh man, let me tell you. <laughs> but we got a park. We got a park. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, um, did you did you have like an aha moment when you were like? Oh shit! This is like actually happening for me. Like, let's, let's go back. Like, when did you um, realize like engineering was really beginning to take off? Like, this is going to be my thing. Um, so, (laughs) um, how many years ago was it? It had to be about three years ago, three years ago. I was serving tables at a restaurant called Cadillac Jack's, no Cadillac Ranch, Cadillac Jack's, Cadillac Ranch. And I was making good money serving these tables. Right. And it was great because again, as an, as an engineer, I, I keep crazy hours. So Working that job, getting home at like three o'clock in the morning and people who want to book a session or whatever for a couple hours. Hey, fine with me. Next day, book a little more. Fine with me. Get some rest. Wake up. Say hi to the, to the kids and the wife and do it all over oh again. Gosh. You know what I mean? But again, I'm making I'm making really good money on a weekly basis. So my wife was unfortunately out of commission for commission for a while. She had injured her shoulders at work. So, you know, she's getting her unemployment check and I'm just working and working and working. She's taking care of the kids. And it, and when she got healthy um, again, and, and this goes for any any significant other that is attached to a musician or an engineer. Yeah. Right. This goes for all of them. Now, this doesn't happen with everybody. But for me, this is what happened with me. So we, we weren't married yet. So she's my fiance at this time. She's so she gets better, goes to work. And she approaches me and says, you have been working and helping in the family and keeping us afloat and making money and paying the bills and doing all this stuff by yourself. She's like, I'm going back to work. She she went. I think she switched her job. She started making like a larger sum of money. And she said, I want to give you the chance to do music full time. And I'm looking at her like, woman, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I'm in disbelief and I'm just like, no, I, I can't do that. At least let me let me think about it. 
right? So I go and I go back to work and this, this happened like, I want to say November. So I go to work and working through November and I tell my friends, and I tell my coworker and they're like, okay, well, you know, that's cool. And not everybody's <laughs> wife is cool like that. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't know if that's the, the thing I'm ready for yet. Right. And of course I'm little faith, like, like of, of nothing. And so as fate would have it, new year's Eve comes aboard. And it was myself and two of my coworkers, and one of them was a young young lady. And what happened was this young lady, we had this table of like 20 something people, and they were the rudest, most obnoxious people ever that I've ever had in my years of serving. And I had been serving for like five years by then. Right. And they just wouldn't let up on her. And a moment happened. Well, again, I'm fine. Right at this point, I'm I'm was breezing through it, but they just were relentless with her. At this moment, I had something come to me and, and said, "Is this really what you want for the rest of your life?" Right, because I was trying to be a manager in training, so I could be a manager at this restaurant and all that fun stuff. And the answer was just no. This is not what I want. So without getting into all kinds of crazy details, uh, in, a very interesting conversation ensued with the um, elders of that table. <laughs> and oh my gosh. They, they, got, they got the rest of their family under control. They apologized to the young lady, myself and my other co-worker. They left us great tips. And so I went to the front and I told the, I told the ladies that were seeing us, I said, I'm done. And she goes, no, no, no. Your section is not closed. I said, no, no, no. I'm done. I'm quitting. And she's like, are you, are you serious? I'm like, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not leaving you hanging. The section was clean. I had gotten my last table, got my last tip. I had already cashed out. And then my man, and as soon as I said that, I started walking to the back and my manager goes, all right, y'all, you have a great night and have a happy new year. And I'm out of here. And I was like, I'm right behind you. And he goes, what? And I was like, we could walk and talk, walk to the stairs. I told him about everything that happened. By the time by the time we got to the office, he was like, "Well, it's been great working with you. If you need a job, just let me know. You're always welcome here." And that was my last night. And literally, I spent New Year's Eve with my wife and my children. And then when the ball dropped, I was literally a full time audio engineer. <laughs> nice. So you had this like moment of just like, "This is yeah. this is the old me." Yep. You and, know, and that's it. And I've been going with the wife nonstop now. And we just, we've just, it's been this incredible roller coaster ride of ups and downs. And this year just kind of, it sealed the deal on this is it, you know, like yeah. this, this is my career. This is what I do for a living, you know, especially after paying these taxes. Oof, boy. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I, I had never paid so much for taxes in my entire life, but it felt awesome because the growth of how much I made from last year to this year has been incredible. And the, the again, just music helped pay for my house. You know, yeah. like music, music has put food on my table. It's helped me travel the country. You know, I got such I, a blessing. You know what I mean? It, you know, it's just one of those things where like, again, I, I just have faith that God knows exactly what's going on. And I just have to do my part and stay the path. So yeah. The blessings have been incredible. Yeah. You know? Well, amen. It should continue. It's like, mm -hmm. sometimes I think about it. It's like, if this is, if this is what it was, like, then I've been blessed, you know, like, oh yeah, I, I managed to do this. <laughs> I've played, yeah. I played in front of these many people's I've, you know, I've, oh, I've yeah. mixed these records. Like, so sometimes you gotta take a moment, and just be grateful for all that has happened. Even if this, even if the future is uncertain, but hopefully the, the future will continue to blossom for, for, I'm sure it will for you and uh, and for the people listening. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Like, and if if nothing else, if for anyone that might be on the fence and they're hearing this, I I pray that people get not just like resolution, but get you know get like get really fired up for knowing that hey, this is what you're meant to be doing. And a lot of people still to this day, even in their 30s and their 40s, don't know what they're meant to be doing, and if you're on the path and you and you know it's right, because because you know this is what you're meant to be doing, 
So take full, you, got, you know, take full advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, double know? down. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, enjoy it. You know.